So the improvements had with knife also improves its ability whenever it comes to implying geometry on other forms. So let us just take this cube and we are just going to stretch it out, scale it up a little bit, and we'll grab this edge and control B and just bevel it. And we'll mirror this to the other side using mesh machine. And we're just going to add a loop and just stretch it out and grab this whole shape and just scale it up on the Z axis. And we're just simply going to grab this area and just bevel it in order to round it out nicely, giving us something like this. In the event that we wanted to imply a circle, you at least now are able to start off the mesh and notice that I'm using a view dot because I'm no longer hovering over the mesh where I would get dots based on object. If we start off the mesh, we get dots aligned to view where I'm just going to bring a dot over here and begin drawing a circle. We'll use Alt in, in order to draw it out freely. And by right clicking and placing it in this pause state, we could press Shift T in order to taper it, allowing us to get something like this. And Control X will change it over to knife. And if we were to press T, we could also go into helper and adjust how many sides we want. For example, maybe we don't want 24. Maybe we want something like 16, which is a lot more negotiable. So if we were to just simply turn off cut through so we don't cut through the other side, whenever we press spacebar, we have now cut this geometry into this shape. So when it comes to cleaning this up, it's just a matter of us going in and just dissolving these areas by merging them at their nearest junction. So I'm just going to do that very fast for this example. Just wanted to show what it is that we're going for whenever it comes to all this work with knife because there is definitely an end goal and it is to you know make knife a lot more topologically capable and turn it into kind of a quick knife of sorts whenever it comes to just making topological changes so there's some dramatic improvements at work here that are just not been going into depth hard enough to really exaggerate on but to be able to just cut in things just like we're seeing it was definitely a bit of a journey for box cutter to get to this point so i am definitely a proud of the work that has gone into it so now that we have the shape basically implied and solved we can just mark this with the seam we'll grab this circle on the inside just pull it in and just like that this is pretty much the workflow that I would use on some of these tied detergent bottles. But just like that, we can now use box cutter to really imply detail on these pieces, utilizing knife and based off of view, even when hovering over the mesh, even with our shapes being drawn, thanks to some of the improvements. So just to show it again, I'm starting off of the mesh and we're just going to bring out a blue box. And if I want to get the loop on the inside as well, we could just press Shift T in order to taper it. And by pressing spacebar, we've now cut in this detail. So of course, a few areas did not work out as intended, but it does get easier and easier as we continue on with our work when it comes to getting these sort of shapes where they need to go very quickly because you know even the work of solving it is something that we're still working on refining and speeding up and optimizing as you can see here but it does get faster whenever it comes to converting all of this to subdivision we are definitely a large step of the way there